Hallelujah. Lift, lift up your hands and just glorify God. He is worthy of praise. Thank you. He is worthy of praise. He is worthy of praise. Just lift up your hands and lift up prayer to God. And say this generation shall not be lost. This generation shall not be lost. It is preserved of God. It is preserved by God. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise and glory. Father, we thank you. We give you praise for the entry of your word gives light and brings understanding to the simple. We thank you as we look into your word this morning. We pray that Jehovah God, our hearts shall be receptive. Our minds shall receive that which you have in store for us. In Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Daddy and Mommy, for raising us and making sure that we are preserved for the generation to be preserved. Amen. Are you happy for what the children have done? Can we clap our hands to Jesus? Hallelujah. Thank you. You know, when we began, we were wondering, how is it going to be like? Uh, for one person, nilikuwa nimeja magic wa tumbo. But I thank God that this far, it has been God. Amen. And I, I believe our daddy and mommy can rest assured that there is a generation that is coming. So if you are not careful, if you are not serving God according to his standards, then it's easy for God to replace you. Daddy always says that there is a neighbor who God is in making who God is making just to make sure that there is no gap in the house of God. Amen. Let's look at the word of God. And our topic today is going to be mystery of children. Hallelujah. My names, for those ones who don't know me, are Rosrita Nyawera. I'm born again. I love the Lord. And... Uh, I'm privileged to be a mother of a 31-year-old girl and a 29-year-old boy and a grandmother of two boys. And a soon one is on the way. Hallelujah. Anytime God wanted to change something in a generation, he used a child. Anytime God saw that a season is tiring him, is making him regret something. He used a child to bring a difference in the generation that he desired to bring. Amen. That's the mystery about children. And there are things that are in the children that God has positioned that only you as a parent, if you do not discern through prayer, it is easy for you to lose out on the seasons of God because of what God is making in the children. And I want to confess that this place is hot. Please encourage me by looking at me. Hey, this place is hot. I didn't know. Hallelujah. Thank you, Daddy, for the grace of enduring on this place. This place is hot. Um... Gener uh, Genesis chapter 5 Unaona mbaya anasema generation badala ya Genesis Yesu ni bwana Genesis chapter 5 verse 29 Hey Are we there? As daddy says media please help me Hakuna kitu mgeni yenye tunasema ni ile tunarudia tunasikia tu baba akisema but we are just going to check on the word of God but now centraling on the children. Praise God. And we see that there is one person who was born in this generation and his name is Noah. Can we read together? And he called his name Noah saying this one will comfort us concerning our work and the toil of our hands because of the ground which the Lord had cast. So you understand what I'm saying, that the ground was cast because of the sin of Adam and Eve. 
Okay? Do we still remember the, what happened in the Garden of Eden? There was sin and God casted them out of the Garden of Eden. And from that time, there was Cain who killed his brother, Abel. And so, the ground became cursed because of what? That blood of Abel. Are we together? Can I step down? Hallelujah. It is now coming. Revelations are dead. Zimeans have come. And so, the ground was cursed. So we understand from this point where the Bible is saying, and Noah came because the ground was so this one shall give us comfort. So Noah came as a comfort concerning the works of our hands because of what the ground had, had been cast before. Praise God. And so God had reached a point where he had said, I feel pain because of man that I had created with my own hands. And it was a painful experience for God. Having created people, you've given them the garden of Eden to tend and to take care of. And you've told them, multiply and replenish the earth. All they had to do was take a rest and relax and enjoy themselves in the garden of Eden. The instruction was simple. Please, eat of anything in the garden. But this tree, don't touch of it. But it is in the nature of man like you and me that most of the time we find ourselves zile vitu ambazo tunakatazwa. Those things that we are told not to do are the things that are so desirable to us. Praise God. And so we find Eve was lured by the devil to eat of the fruit of the garden. Na wakati alipokula what happened? The Bible says that he, her eyes were opened. And he took the fruit to who? Adam. And so Adam ate the fruit. And when God came at his usual time in the evening, I'm really trying to avoid dad's eyes. Uh, at the cool of the evening where he was doing what? Visiting Adam and Eve. He came. Adam. We find that is the place where hide and seek began. Children, Upon your, are you ready, Lianza? Yes. And God comes and says, Adam, Adam, where are you? He calls again, Adam, Adam, where are you? And Adam says, I am hiding. Why would he be hiding? And God said, have you eaten of the fruit? He did not own the responsibility of sin. So what did he do? He said, it is the woman you gave me. So what did he do? He was blaming God for the woman that God gave him. And God still went to Eve. And he asked Eve, Eve, did you eat of the fruit that I told you not to eat? And Eve comes and says, it is the serpent. And when you look at that scripture, God did not go to the serpent. Praise God. He didn't. He started cursing the animal. And he told him, you know the mystery about it, I read that part and I'm like, eish. Kumbe shetani, kumbe nyoka ilikuwa inatembeanga kama sisi hivika imesimama. Ilikuwa imesimama anga hivi. So God told the devil, God told the, the snake, you will walk on your tummy. That's the first place where the snake starts to walk on its tummy. Did you know that? And he starts walking on the ground. And he said, you will be cursed. And you know what happens? God pronounces a curse and he says, the seed of the woman will be your enemy. And you, the two of you are going to be clashed. You'll be at clash. You'll be enemies. That is the place where we find ndio maana watoto tukienda kwenye snake iko tunafanya nini? Mbio. Na mwanadamu akiona nyoka anafanya nini? Because the, it was pronounced by God that the two of them will be 
enemies. Now, I believe that we are somewhere. Okay. Thank you. Now, I look forward, I jump forward, and I go to the place where we have the first ultrasound. Where we have the Jacob and Esau being born. Jacob and Esau were born as twins, but very different. Please help me. And so, Ibu, please help me. Thank you. <laughs> and so, we find Jacob and Esau were born. But, the revelation that was given about these twins was who? Their mother. When the children were at war in the tummy, she went and inquired of the Lord. That is the place of a woman. How many mothers are here? Hallelujah. Mothers, we are called to be intercessors. Praise God. We intercede for what man cannot be able to see. Praise God. And so she goes before the Lord and asks God, God, <coughs> Hallelujah. I'm breathing differently. And so goes to the Lord and says, God, why am I having this issue in my tummy? Why am I having this war in my tummy? And God comes to her and says, you have twins. That's the first ultrasound that was there in the Bible. Praise God. And he says, two nations are in bomb. Look at the children and, and just point at them and call them you are nations. Oh, see, we were daddy, like in our water, in nations. One as a few. So, these two are fighting in the womb. And God tells him that the younger will be greater than the elder. And when they are being born, Uyu kierere Jacob, anataka kutoka, anarudishwa ndani. Esau, anatoka kwanza. Alright? And there is war there. But we find that the first pronouncement that is done, is done by God. That the younger one will be greater than Thank you. And so, when they are born, the Bible says that Jacob, God loved. But Esau, he did what? He hated. Hi. It is a sad thing to be hated by God even before you were born. Esau was hated. Why? Because as the children have told us in Psalms 139, he looks at our hearts. He searches our hearts and pays us according to the intentions that we have in our hearts. Praise God. That's the reason why you find one is lifted and the other one is left. Why? Because of the intentions of the heart. Many a times we found dad and I say, manina wajua nyinyi wote. Inamanisha natujua aje. He knows the capacities of our hearts. He knows when we are pretending and when we are not pretending. And when we do things to please him, there's just something that when somebody is a father knows more than a child. Praise God. And so these destinies of these children are born. There is no intercession that is done any other time to change the destinies of these children. So Esau remained hated by God and Jacob loved by God. And when we look at the book of Isaiah 49 verse 15, we find children are very important to God just because of what I've told you before. And you look at also Luke chapter 18. I'm trying to catch up with my time. When you look at Luke chapter 18 verse 16, Jesus said, okay, it's projected there, thank you. Can a woman forget her nursing child and not compassion on the son of her womb? Surely they may forget, yet I will not forget you. That is God for us. Importance of children. A woman who has ametema mate, amekula mchanga kwa sababu ya uyo mtoto, 
anaweza kwa uwepesi sana kusahau mtoto ambaye amezaa lakini biblia inatuambia ya kwamba mungu hawezi akatosahau bwana asifiwe god cannot forget us and jesus said the kingdom of god in luke chapter 18 verse 9, 16 it says the kingdom of god belongs to children let's read together but jesus called them to him and said let the little children come to me do not forbid them for such or for of such is the kingdom of god nafikiri sitaangalia penye dada hako acha niangalie pande hii such is the kingdom of of god i want to ask us a question at that juncture do we bring children to jesus or we keep on pushing them away because of what we do what we say the environment we've given them are we pushing the children towards jesus or are we pushing them away let's look at how much we push them away or pull them closer praise god and we look at matthew chapter 18 verse 10 importance and the mystery of children it says about the children let's read together take heed that you do not despise one of these little ones for i say to you that in heaven their angels always see the face of the father who is in heaven did we know that that their angels behold the face of the father day and night so when you do something wrong to a child the angels report directly to god say god have mercy on us any time you you do anything to a child be it your own blood child or be it an orphan that you've been given the report goes directly praise god and then Psalms 127 verse 3 and 5 this is the foundation of what children are what is the mystery about children 1 to 7 please help me 3 and 5 it talks about children being a heritage from the lord let's read together behold children are a heritage from the lord the fruit of the womb is ati watoto ni nini they are a reward so when you are when 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 i want to give you a reward will you choose the reward that i give you no so it's for you to maybe take the reward if you do not understand how to use it you come to me and ask me this reward that you gave me how do i use it effectively praise god the fruit of the womb is the reward I don't know how many of us go to God to inquire about the children that God has given to us. I don't know how many of us have prayed even before we conceive the fruit of the womb just to know the kind of reward that we are being given. Praise God. Hallelujah. Are we getting somewhere? And when we are getting the reward, the Bible cautions us that Tusikue watu ambao hatuwaelekezi mahali ambapo wanafaa kwenda. We are not giving them direction in where they are supposed to do and what they are supposed to do at a particular time. Praise God. And this calls us in terms of how do we discipline the children? How do we make sure that our children fall wholeheartedly follow out wholeheartedly to the Lord? Praise God. Discipline is very very important. And we find it in Proverbs chapter 19 verse 18 and 20 to 28. We are not going to read that because of the longitude of it, but we have to know, please note that down, Proverbs, that we have to discipline this child. And a child the Bible says that a child that is loved by God is disciplined how many times? Many times. All right? So tusikue watu wa kubembeleza watu watoto. Tuangalie mwenzetu katika upande wa kushona kumwambie usibembeleze mtoto.
Proverbs chapter 12. This is to the children. Praise God, children. Praise God, children. This is to the children. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 1. Please put it up for us for the children to read it. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 1. Why should a parent take a cane and beat up a child? This is what the scripture tells us. The children, let's read all of us together. Whoever loves instructions, loves knowledge. But he who hates correction is... Imagine Bibile mekutukana. Bibile mekuita nini? Ukikata nini? Correction. So when you are corrected and you don't follow into the right direction, you are called what? Sio mimi ni Bibilia. Bwana asifiwe. Na wakati Bibilia inatuambia, tulisema Bibilia ni nini watoto wa Mungu? It is the word of God. And when the word of God calls you stupid, it is really that you are what? Stupid. We should be careful not to be stupid. So when we are corrected, we become good children and we behave well. Praise God. So wazazi tumejua ya kwamba Bibile inatuambia ya kwamba we need to give them instructions na kiboko pia tusiweke mbali sana. Mm. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 10. Hallelujah. Are we getting together? If you are lost, you just cough and I will know that you are lost. I will step down. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 10. Can we, can we read that? Harsh discipline is for him who forsakes the way. And he who hates correction will do what? Two things. One of them to mesoma nigani. You are? Stupid if you don't like correction. And number two, you will do what? You will die. How many want to die? Oh my God. How many want to die? Nobody wants to die. So we are going to get corrected. We are going to follow the way. And this takes us to Proverbs chapter 22. Which says that train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. There's a question that once upon a time, <laughs> I was asked by, by dad when he asked me which ministry God has called me to. And I told him, I'm called into the children ministry. And he called me, at that time, we were in mentorship class. And that time when Jose came uh, from Kimumu, he wasn't talking as much as he was talking now. And uh, that time we began, the mentorship class, we began five people. And he told me, you are called into the children's ministry? I said, yes. And our memory work that time was John chapter 1 from verse 1. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God. It, it's like a tongue twister. Praise God. And he told me, okay, Jose is a child in the ministry. How to talk a mentorship class? Kama Jose ajajua John chapter 1. Jehovah God. Niliangalia daddy vinikaona, oh God, this punishment is heavier than I thought. I didn't talk to him. I said, yes, sir. Nikawekelea Jose Mkono. I started praying for Jose. God, open his tongue. May he speak your word, oh Jehovah, in the mighty name of Jesus. Dad, akakuja, akaniangalia, akasema, hmm, nice way to go. Na akaenda. My friend, nilingangana na Jose, mpaka Jose akasema yo, John chapter 1. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> to me, he has been very hard to me. But I realize now with the multitude of work in the Sunday school, under the leadership of Timothy, it is worth the punishment. Amen. Iyo kiboko ilikuwa tamu, pwana sifiwe. And I thank God that today Jose is in the Sunday school and with the ch small, small children. Any child who's not passed through the hands of Jose, ajakuwa mtoto kabisa wa Sunday school, bwana asifiwe. Watoto wote wadogo, wale wenye wajajua kuongea, wote wa wanakimbilia Jose, bwana asifiwe. And Jose doesn't talk much to them, ni kuambia tupigeni makofi, kaeni chini simameni, and the children obey. And if you dare take a child, those small children from Jose, they will scream. 
Now, there are avenues that God uses in making sure that the destiny of a child is changed. Kuna mahali penye dadi wana two aspects. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. And eh, nilikundua kumbe siku two aspects tu. Kumbe ni moshi inafanyanga inatokanga kwa aspects. We shape the children in the following environments. Number one is the naming. Praise God. Right naming. Number two, right environment. Number three, am I too fast? Am I too fast? Number one, names. Number two, environment. Number three, birthdays. Number four, rites of passage. Praise God. What are names? Names, have we written the topic names? Subtopic names? Very good. Names are a path that tie the children and take them to their destinies. Praise God. Names are a path that tie a child. Nikama kamba. It has tied the child and take them to their destinies. Praise God. It is a pathway that gives children direction. Praise God. Are we together? Are we together? Speed is dictated to by the name you give to the child. Ya kwamba, how fast that child is going to go towards their destiny is dependent on the name you have given to that child. A name can become a prison or a blessing. Praise God. And one of them, okay, like I would talk about the place where I come from. The place where I come from, when, when I am married and I get my first baby, the first child, if it is a boy, is named after my father-in-law. And the first girl is named after my mother-in-law. Okay? Now, the second, uh, the, the third child is named from my mother's side. And the third, the, the, the second set of children, if it's a boy and a girl, it's from my side. Praise God. And we find Yakwamba, I will talk from my side before I get into other uh, uh, tribes. We find Yakwamba in the Kikuyus, you will find a person who is called one boy. Praise God. That person becomes a fighter because of that name. Okay? Names like, uh, I'm avoiding to, okay. Names like Wangare were names that were given to children who Maybe they've been named and the children have died. So they are named after animals so that that generation is preserved. Praise God. So wangare means mtu wa leopard. Bwana asifiwe. So you'll find that that person can fight also. I'm just giving you an avenue of two names. Praise God. So my name is Nyawera. Na unapatanga mimi kutulia kukaa chini ni shida. I do a lot of work. Unapata ninafanya kazi hata nisitakani kufanya nitafanya tu. Bwana asifiwe. Because of that destiny that is tied to my name Nyawera. Okay, let me come down. There is a person called Okech in Luoland. Huyo mtu ni mtu wa njaa. Kwa sababu kwa wajaluo ukitaka kusema unasikia njaa unasema Kechkaya. Bwana asifiwe. Do I have luos in the house? So you will find huyo mtoto ni wanja kila saa. Bwana asifiwe. We go to Luoland. There is one called Halwale. Halwale means sickling. Bwana asifiwe. Si tunamjua. Anakuanga tu mgonjwa akili na ni daktari mzima. Bwana asifiwe. 
So you will find there are children who are called according to seasons. Bwana sifiwe. And you find those children behave as those seasons are. So it becomes a blessing or a prison. Praise God. We find most of the children of the or the teenagers that have had issues of them having affairs at that tender age in Kalenjin most of them are called Kipsang and you find the name Kipsang ni mtoto mwenye amezaliwa nje bwana asifiwe and i find like when you look at the people who are married most of the Kipsangs it takes the grace of god but most of them wanakuanga na mipango ya kando Hallelujah. So we find kuna mtoto anaitwa Masumbuko. Huyo mtoto anasumbuka kila saa. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. So the names are a blessing or they are a prison. Have you understood up to that point? Thank you. So let's come back to the Bible because we are Christians. Praise God. We find there is a a child in Genesis chapter 35 verse 18 I believe if I'm not wrong who is called who is born of the mother called Rachel Rachel is in labor and gives birth to this child and when this child is about to be born this mother wants to pass away and he calls this child Benoni son of my sorrow the father hears of it and what does he do he says no he shall not be called benoni he shall be called benjamin importance of names bwana sifiwe another one is called jabez it took jabez to pray to god he lived in pain because of his name meaning pain it took prayer for him to pray and tell god god that you may change my name enlarge my territory and remove this pain from me praise god there is another one called ichabod in the bible ichabod means the glory has departed praise god names dictates character behavior like we see the character of Jacob Jacob they were born as twins and we see later on the mother decides to help God in a way Bwana asifiwe Jacob wakati alipozaliwa na akaitwa Jacob the meaning of Jacob was a supplanter to step down to the level of the children walikuwa naitwa conman Bwana asifiwe he was a conman a supplanter and one time the brother came to him he was hungry a sow and he said please give me something to eat a sow i think i think jacob alikuwa mkikuyu alikuwa mkikuyu afanyi biashara ya kutupa bwana asifiwe and so he called as he told the sow a sow nitakupatia chakula yes lakini utanipea birthright yako and a sow was like ah, ah, why not what's the profit of having a birthright and i'm hungry i'm dying of hunger chukua and jacob being the kikuyu he took the birthright at that time so when later on in life the father sent for esau esau came the father had gone blind he called for esau and he said esau go and look for me meat and make it as 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 i want it bwana asifiwe ndio tunagundua kwa nini wahubiri wanapenda nyama bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe baba aliitisha nyama ndio akule nyama ashibe afate yani nini baraka importance of meat any food that does not have meat is not interesting and the mother hears of it and decides to help god na akaita mtoto wake one thing that you have to realize we have to look at it on both sides kwa afrika tu watu tunapenda sana kuangalia the negative 
Okay, so I will start with the negative. Mama yake aliamua kusaidia Mungu. Akaambia Jacob, "Kuja, kuja. Enda uchague ile mbuzi nyororo, unilete. Nipikie baba yako vile ambavyo anavyopenda." Bwana asifiwe. And in another way, she was the one that God talked to the prophecy. Akamwambia ya kwamba the younger one will be greater than the elder. Bwana asifiwe. Na Esa, uh, Jacob analeta nyama wanapika na wanatengeneza anamwambia mama lakini si unajua Esau ni hairy mimi ni smooth what is going to happen sisi wote ni tofauti tuko mapacha lakini tuko tofauti akamwambia wewe wachana na hiyo na laana ikikuja a ah, ah, wacha hiyo laana yako inikujie mimi na akamwambia alete akaleta akatengeneza nyama vile ambavyo baba yake anapenda So there is a way yenye wa baba wanapiki wangu wa nyama. Sio mashakura. Bwana asifiwe. And so she makes the meat and gives it to this boy, Jacob, and decides that he's, she's going to give a sow's clothes to Jacob and then he takes she takes the skin na anamwekea side moja, akapelekea baba yake. Alipopelekea baba yake ambe baba, nimekuja I have come. And when he came ah He said you found it so quickly and the boy says yes the lord was with me bwana asifiwe ndani ya moyo anatetemeka kwa sababu anajua eh eh baba yake because alikuwa amekuwa blind akamwambia mm mm hebu kuja karibu nasikia sauti ni ya yakobo i'm hearing the voice is the voice of jacob come near akamguza alipomguza and he discovered that jacob was actually a sow because of the touch said so the touch is the touch of a sow but the voice it was is of jacob anyway kwa sababu tumbo ni mbaya na iliwekwa hapo katikati akachukua nyama and he ate of the meat and when he ate of the meat he pronounced blessings upon jacob and jacob goes away when jacob goes away a sow comes with the meat alipokuja na nyama and say father i have come with the meat such as you love and say and the father the bible says he trembled exceedingly akamwambia ni nani huyo amekuja mbele yako akamwambia it must be jacob akamwambia wa na si nilimuita ukweli jacob and true to his name he has become a supplanter he has taken your blessing now i believe you understand why the name can be a prison or a blessing praise god and we find when we go to the book of uh, um when we find just D- daniel shadrach meshach and abednego what happened to them when they went to babylon their names were changed so mbeleni hawako wanaitwa shadrach meshach and abednego walikuwa wanaitwa Hanania Hanania which means gift of mercy praise god and the second one was called Mishael Mishael was called who is like god and Azaria who was a bednego is called help by god praise god so wakati walipoenda Babylon walibadilisha majina ili wa iweze kuwa covenant kati yao na ardhi ambayo waliokuwa nayo bwana asifiwe where they were they were covenanted to that land of babylon praise god do we understand now let us remember this that when moses was born when he became three months he could not be contained by the mother so where was he taken to the river And when he was taken to the river we are not told the name of Moses before then but when Pharaoh's daughter came and picked Moses what he did he called him Moses a name from Egypt praise God so the reason why Moses was a stammerer was this wakati Moses alikuwa drawn from the water aliitwa na daughter wa farao Moses 
Miriam naye akasema, "Naweza kukuletea. Can I bring you a person who can take care of this child?" Alimletea nani? The mother. So Moses had an identity crisis. Bwana asifiwe. So kuna mtoto wa farao ambaye anakuja anaita mtoto Moses. Anasikiliza lugha gani? Ya Egypt. Lakini mama yake anamwambia wewe ni nini? Muisraeli. So this child took a long time in talking and this child ended up become a stammerer. Do I have doctors in the house? What is the cause of stammering? Hallelujah. So unapata ya kwamba huyu mtoto ana end up kuwa a stammerer because of identity crisis. Bwana asifiwe. Mara anaongea lugha ya Egypt, mara anaongea Kiisraeli. Lakini wakati alikuwa of age, the Bible records that he did he did what? He refused to be called Pharaoh's daughter. And we find that's the time the first killing again happens. Moses anaua what? Mtu. Bwana asifiwe. So we have to realize something that 0 to, to 12 years are foundational years for the children. Please write that down in capital letters. 0 to 12 are foundational years. Whatever it is that you put as a foundation in the life of a child. building. Conception. You have to start praying for the name of the child, for the destiny to be felt over the life of this child. Another place where we need to be careful. Okay, like in Africa, most of it in Kenya, huwa tuna end up to find out ya kwamba wakati mama anaanza kukimbia kwa kwa cho, unastukia asubuhi kujana kaka kidogo sitaki maji baba usiende kazi leo kwa nini nataka kukaa tu na wewe inabidi baba anajificha anaenda can i tell you something fathers what we do we usually take your shirts kwa sababu umeenda tunakaa tunainusa tunasikia uko karibu that's the pregnancy bwana asifiwe unanusa tu ile shati unasikia baba ako lakini utalia unaweza lia kuanzia asubuhi mpaka saa sita baba ulienda ukaniwa peke yangu na si yeye analia ni the president inside bwana asifiwe so zero unapata ya kwamba at that time unapata kwamba wa na huyu mama venye na behave ni kama ako ako na mimba but the intention of god was for him to give you a prophetic words towards this reward that he is giving you so that you can begin lining up the life of this child from conception praise god that is why i said 0 to 12 years are foundational years praise god and that's the place where we dictate to the life of the child another place where we change the life of the children is in birthdays praise god before the birthday of the child as a parent mother and father take time to fast and pray that's the way the place where the, the book of proverbs chapter 22 verse 6 it says train up a child in the way he should go praise god unaona when you train huwa the way the train is the train moves in a certain place not every place praise god that's why the bible was very categorical when it it wrote train up a child it used the word train when you fast during their birth be before their birthday you dictate what the child is going to be praise god we find that when you pray beforehand over the life of that child huyu mtoto ataenda kulingana na maombi ambayo umeomba praise god so we will not have fire brigade prayers where tunakuja kuzima moto wakati mtoto amefanya vituko na sarakasi. Bwana asifiwe. So birthdays are important to mark seasons. 
in the book of Genesis it says, to mark seasons and to mark years and a change of something. Praise God. And it's very, very important for parents, if you are both father and mother, to pray over the life of these children before their birthdays for you to dictate what they are going to become like. Praise God. I will move ahead because of time. And that's the rite of passage. Praise God. Rites of, of passage, right? Like there's a training I went to. Like this season, this year, they changed that the rites of passage will not just be for boys only. It will be for both boys and girls. Because we find, Yakwamba, we concentrate on the boy child and we find the girl child is left na tunapata, tunapata crisis in the marriages. Praise God. So there is a new program that is coming concerning the rites of passage of both the boys and the girls. Praise God. And we see, when you look at the Bible, most of the covenants that were there were made with blood. Praise God. And we find during circumcision that's, that involves what? Blood. So where do we take our children for circumcision? I will talk about some of them. We will find we take them to the forest. And we take them to the forest circumcised by somebody foreign who doesn't know God. And then Huyu mtoto, especially to the Kalenjin, huyu mtoto akitoka kule, akikuja, ameambiwa mama na watoto wote ni? Sasa ukiuliza Kalenjin man mwenye ametoka huko. Ukimuliza nani yako nyumbani? Ni watoto. Na ma, wako na mama yao nyumbani. Bwana asifiwe. They are all in the same they are put in the same category. Mama akijaribu kupatia instruction to a boy child, a Kalenjin boy. Huwa hachukui yon instruction. Kwa sababu, mtoto, wana sfiwe. We find in the lawyer land, that is the tricky part. Very, very crazy. They tie meat on their, wanaweka nyama kwa shingo. Very crazy. And then, they are taken to that place ya chondoni. I'm trying to really move fast forward. Now, wakitoka pale, before they come out, they are given a woman wakufanya nini? Wakumsafisha. So at that time, the child in, is initiated into that one. The child is exposed to early sex because yakusafishwa na huyo mwanamke. What's the reason of that? We find our culture is very good. Some of them are good, but some of them at that time of circumcision, you will agree with me parents, that's the time where there is a turning point of the child. Umelea huyu mtoto kanisani, umemkuza katika maadili ya kiungu, but the time of circumcision, huyu mtoto anageuka. And the time those children are coming back to the church, is the time they want to get married. They come back as youths. Unasema, huu ni kumbukitisha, uli nifundisha memory verse. There is a portion of place where you got lost. That's the place where circumcision loses our children. Praise God. Is this teaching helping you? Amen. So, when we find in the Bible, Moses was married to a child, to a woman who was not an Israelite. But she came to discover there were those things that were being done when the child was eight days old. And when this child was circumcised at eight days old, he became an Israelite unto the Lord. Right? So this lady discovers later on that my children have not been circumcised because of the place where she's coming from. And what does she do? She takes an, a rock and circumcises the boys herself. 
na akafanya nini akarushia Musa hiyo 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 foreskin akamwambia you are a man of blood blood is a very heavy covenant bwana asifiwe and the church is quiet bwana asifiwe are we understanding something is some is god changing us that we need to be very careful over every step of the way of the children and i thank god that there is now the churches have come up and we have churches who have circumcision places for our children so this generation is preserved praise god and i thank god that most of the time our dad is called to the pca the time when my son had gone to pca dad was the one who was called there and they were given the word of god so there's that change in the in the in the destinies of our children yes you've named them right yes you've prayed for their birthdays but the time of circumcision if you don't take them to the right places that covenant of the blood is very heavy that is why we find david and jonathan they became friends up to the end why because they they used blood covenant to tie themselves together praise god and it is very heavy praise god now what is the place of a father and the place of a mother in the life of a child the place of a father proverbs chapter 6 verse 20 Proverbs chapter 6 verse 20 can we read together Can we repeat it together again my son keep very good so fathers give what command and when we find when you go back to God our father in the bible He did not go to request light to come. He said let there be. He gave a command. He spoke the word and it came into being. He said it says he, fathers give a command. And I want to caution us mothers, I being one of them. Please, fathers do not identify with crisis. They do not identify with failure. And we see that with God. He says let there be light and there was light. So tunapata ya kwamba wakati mtoto anakosea what happens? Anaambiwa ngo enda kwa mama yako. Bwana asifiwe. Enda kwa mama yako bwana asifiwe. It is the mother who gives the laws. Praise God. So fathers identify with success. When the child Okay, let me begin from the time the child is born especially when it is a boy that has been born what happens is the men will always go out to their friends and tell them bwana we mwanaume amezaliwa kwangu nimepata mwanaume a child has been born in my house they boast about it when a child does their first exam and passes well what happens the fathers are the ones who say my boy or my daughter has performed well 400 marks is not a joke alikuwa kwa gazeti mlimuona the fathers will always boast about the success of the children but when the children do a mistake not here somewhere there in the village when the child does a mistake what happens is mama huwa anaambiwa nilikwambia huyu mtoto wako lazima uangalie kwa makini tunaelewana huyu mtoto wako lazima uwe maki amekuwa mtoto wa nani wakati amefanya makosa and it is very normal god did not identify with adam the fall of sin what he looked at he looked at the solution that could be made and that is why jesus came praise god a man who knew not sin and he said when jesus was being baptized what did god say This is my beloved son in whom I am well fathers identify with success praise god fathers give 
commands. Praise God. Mothers, they give the law. Deuteronomy chapter 6. Most of the time, we leave this to Sunday school teachers. We appreciate. Thank you. Thank you very much. But what is the place of us as parents? What should we do? Deuteronomy chapter 6 from verse 6. Are we there? Can we go together? And these words which I command you today shall be in your heart. Let's go on. Media, please help me. You shall teach them diligently to your children. Shall talk of, of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. Let's go on. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand and they shall be frontlets before you, between your eyes. Uh -huh. You shall write them on the doorposts of your house. That is at home. And on your gates. So it shall be when the Lord your God brings to you into the land which he swore to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob to give you large and beautiful cities which you did not but what happens in the closet teach them the law that's the place of mothers when we keep on reading the word of God to the children most of the time use the word of God to correct the children when they've done something wrong use an example in the Bible because the Bible has told us it is there for our correction, for our teaching, to make sure that we are changed to become better people. Praise God. And so from this command, we find there is scripture that starts from home. By the time they are coming to us as Sunday school teachers, we will be able to teach them the precepts of what they have been told. So it is precepts upon so, what is the place of a child? Proverbs chapter 6 verse 1. Children, are we together? Praise God, children. Praise God, children. Can we read Proverbs chapter 6 together? No, 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 sorry, not Proverbs chapter 6, Ephesians chapter 6, sorry, pardon me. I'm sorry, children, sorry, parents. Ephesians chapter 6. Okay, let's go. Let's go on. Honor your father and mother. Which is the first commandment? The, the Bible tells us as children to do what? Let's go back to verse 1. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. You have to be careful about that word. We have to obey them in the Lord. So mzazi akipata kama mnapigana alafu akwambia si hata wewe mchapa. Will you do that? No. We have to obey them in the for this is the command, first commandment with a promise. And then it says, honor your father and mother. So this is what it means. Whatever it is that I do, I am going to do as per the instructions that are coming from the word of God through my parents to make sure that I give them the respect that they deserve. Are we together, children? Amen. Amen. Praise God. What is the solution to everything that we have learned today? Praise God. We found that Shadrach, it meant the God of the moon. This is according to Babylon. Meshach was who is what Aku is. Aku is a God in Babylon and Abednego is a servant of Nebo, the God servant of light. Praise God. 
the Babylonian God of wisdom. Praise God. Solutions. Malachi chapter 4 verse 6. Shall we go there? As I finish. Malachi chapter 4 verse 6. Can we read together? In these avenues that we have learned, in the naming, the birthdays, I didn't touch on the environment. But the environment is mostly because of the name that we have and the kind of friends that we keep. It says, he will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children to their fathers. The reason being, the kind of conversation we have day in, day out will bring the children closer or will push them away from us. Praise God. So what do we talk about every day? That dictates the kind of environment that our children grow up in. And the place where you wrote the environment, please go and read um, uh, uh, Psalms chapter 1 from verse 1 to 6. We find the hearts of the children will only be... Have you ever noticed that children can only come to a person that they feel loves them? Right? So if you don't love our children, our children will run away from you. There is one statement that dad loves uh, uh, saying. He's, he asks us, Wakati mtoto memfunga pampas. Si tu, tuko era ya kufunga pampas. Mini likuwa ya napkin. Wakati tumefunga mtoto pampas. Alafu mtoto ajipupulie. When the child soils the pampas. Do we throw the baby plus the pampas outside? Do we do that? No. What we do is we clean up the baby. We throw away the pampas and we give them something clean. All right? The Bible says the entry of the word of God brings light and brings understanding to the simple. Praise God. So the word of God is a light that comes to the life of these children. The reason why you are called a father or a mother is because you are to give commands and direction. So when you give the word of God to this child, there is a light that comes to them and it makes them to understand the direction they are to follow. And that's the when they come to, they will, they will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children. They can only be found when we make altars in our houses. That's the place of Deuteronomy chapter 6. Verse 6 all the way. When God was creating a human being, he created them and, be, and he said, it is good. But when the child does a mistake, what really happens? Anger overrides us. Na mara nyingi tunasemanga mjinga wewe. How many have fallen to that trap? Don't raise your hand. I'm not trying to stigmatize anybody. But most of the time, huwa tunachapa mtoto, badale ya kumchapa na kumwelekeza katika njia ya kiungu, huwa tunamambia unajua wewe ni mjinga, wewe ni mjinga sana na wewe ni nakwamia wewe ni mjinga, na hausikima neno wewe ni mjinga. No. Sit down with the child, you've done this mistake. This is what the Bible says, and I'm going to punish you because of this. Take the cane, and beat them. But sometimes it's not even the cane that works. Sometimes ni kofi. Sa zingine ni teke mtoto atajipata ako pande ile ingine. Mbea mujinga hii. Na unamurusha uko. Now it happens to people who are single mothers. Kapa mtoto anafanana baba yake. These children will go through fire. Kwenda uko unafanana baba yako. Jesus. That child suffers. And they suffer not because of what they did, because of the sin of the father. They punish the child out of anger and the pain of being single. 
the mother wakati mara nyingi wakati mwingi baba na mama wakikosana kwa nyumba watoto ndio huwa wanatumika sema siu si peleke baba yako chai kwa sababu atakaa tu hapo akiona tv akisoma gazeti ama nyimbo he bwana uni nwe nimechoka kukaa duniani kwa imani nisimame cold was imezidi you are singing a good song but inside the song you are putting words za kupiga ule mtu vita bwana asifiwe let's work on our anger praise god wakati mwingine huwa tunaita watoto wakati mtoto anakuletea report form kwa nyumba what do you tell them most of the time unapata mtoto anamwambia hii tu ndio ungepata hii tu ndio ungepata na hiyo school fees yote ninalipa hizi marks ndio ungeniletea no appreciate the child that the child can be able to read and write We have different capacities in children. Praise God. We have almost 300 children in Sunday school. Bwana asifiwe. How many said the memory work? That's a whole chapter. Psalms 139 from verse 1 to 24. That's a whole chapter. We find less than not even we can't talk about a half of the Sunday school. But we appreciate that they can be able to do something. We find ya kwamba kuna wale walikuwa kwa praise and worship. Praise God. Kuna wale walikuwa kwa prayer. Kuna wale walikuwa kwa memory work. Kuna yule atakuwa kwa announcement. They have different strengths. Appreciate the children because of the strength that they have. Whatever they've brought you, take the report card and pray with them. Praise God. Usiambie mtu, "Nani lisema tu wewe ni ngombe? Hata sijui ninakupeleka hiyo shule kufanya nini." Don't because the bible says that power of life and death are in the power of the tongue when as a parent you called a child ngombe siku hiyo ingine upate anaanza kutamba utamuita nini ingine ndiye amekuwa ngombe ya serious oi ngo inanitega bwana asifiwe when you called a child kichwa malenge then the child just starts behaving like a malenge will you blame anybody No. It is the parent who has pronounced kichwa malenge. So when we are in the Sunday school what do we do? We usually try and change that in them. I am a genius, I am a star. We do the declaration of the week. Praise God. Children, can we do the declaration of the week? Can we go all of us together the declaration of the week? and that is what it shall be and then we usually say i am a blessing and not a sorrow everybody i am a genius i am a star that is what we tell them in the morning okay? but i want to tell us as i finish you only finish yangapi mimi na baba yangu tuko tu same sawa Uh, what was i saying uh, nilikuwa nasema nini ya serious eh as i finish the other one when we do the declarations of the week it is like we have planted a seed in them okay when we plant the seed in them when you go to the house uta decide kama wewe utakuwa a good ground for them to grow in ama utakuwa a stony ground or a thorny ground are you going to quench what you have told them that they are stars they are geniuses none of them is a failure eh i am the head and not the tail are you going to kuza utakuza hayo maneno ambayo utamwambia hii report form umeleta hii kichwa malenge na huwa ninasema nina waste school fees that is a thorny ground we are killing the plant that we have begun in church praise god 
So these children end up wakikuja nyumbani wanakuwa waoga. Wakikuja kanisani tunaanza kwanza na kuwapepeta, kuwapepeta, kuwapepeta. Ndio sasa tuanze kutufanya declaration. Huyo mtoto anasema I am a, I am a genius. I am the head and not the tail. You have to go to them as a teacher and say it loudly because they don't have confidence because the Bible says the child alikuja kugundua ya kwamba they can trust in their mother's breasts. Bwana asifiwe. So wakati huyu mama mwenye amelearn ame kutrust kwa matiti yake, huyu mama anamwambia wewe ni ngombe. Huyu mwalimu wa Sunday school akikuja amwambia I am I'm the first and not the last. Anashindwa sasa huyu ticha. Hata sijui kwa wake ni wapi. Na mama yangu ameniambia mimi ni ngombe. Sasa gani itakuwa ita mzito? Anaendea saidi ya ngombe. Bwana asifiwe. So upata utapata huyu mtoto ana, anajaribu kufanya kazi kan, uh, bidii kan, uh, shuleni but they end up not doing well because the parent has said wewe ni kichwa malenge wewe ni mjinga kama shosho yako una behave kama shosho yako bwana asifiwe can we lift up our hands and just decree a blessing upon the children decree a blessing upon the children Father, these children shall speak with our enemies at the gates. They are the head and not the tail. They are the seed of Abraham. They shall never be lost in the name of Jesus. They are the stars in this generation. They will never be lost, O oh God. They will never suffer hunger in the name of Jesus. We thank you and we glorify your holy name, Jehovah God. Thank you because of your goodness upon our lives, O oh God. We give you praise and glory, Jehovah. We have our quiver full of them, Jehovah. Over God, and we decree they are a blessing and not a sorrow in Jesus' precious name. Amen. With standing innovation, shall we please allow our Father to come and give us a blessing? Praise God. Wow. Wow. I want to echo these words before I pray. Unfortunately, most of us are hearing the positive side of what we ought to do and say now. Because most of the time, we are just propagating what we were told, how we were raised. And I discovered a number of us did not go to Sunday school. And if we went to Sunday school, it was not as thorough as it is. It was dutiful. How many of us as a parent or a... It's not only parents... Even siblings, you are told to raise your sister and your brother, you know, because you've seen mama beating children, you think it's part of the parenting. How many of you think you need to reverse some words, some attitudes? You, you need to re, re, reclaim your children back. Let me see. Good. Some of us have not even with words passed on rejection. There is what you expected that didn't happen. And in your heart, you rejected ch that child. And people try to love your child, but they go through serious rejection. This today, to me, I believe, has been a serious bruning. That is parenting. <laughs> Blessed are those who are still in the process Give me your attention. Give me your attention. Blessed are those of you who are still in the process of becoming parents. Teacher Nyawera, where is she? What a blessing. Now, if you are a parent and you have children in Sunday school, once in a while, if you meet a Sunday school teacher, if you carry some money, give them money. Amen. All right.
Trust me, look at it this way. How much of what your child knows in social issues, leadership issues, spiritual issues, how much percentage of what they know came from you as a parent? How much of their prayer life, what percentage was taught by you? Honor, respect, telling the truth. How many of your child's lifestyle derives from your influence? Parents, we have a responsibility. Name Maliza na kitu moja. Watoto ninini? Watoto ninini? 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 Ah ah. Kuna neno la mwisho amesema. Watoto ni nini? Watoto sio kuiva. Wamesema wamejaa kwa kuiva. Watoto ni nini? Arrows. They say with those arrows, blessed are those whose quiver is full that they can confront their enemy at the gate. When you raise your children well, you have a future to enjoy. Thank you very for blessing us. Amen. You won't be surprised that parents today are learning what their children are learning in Sunday school. Wamesikia mara ya kwanza hiyo maneno. Eh. Angalia hivi. Wakati wa kuombea chakula kwenu ni mtoto anaomba na sio kwa sababu namlea ni kwa sababu ujui. Ati mtoto aombe. Baba kwanza <laughs> I wanted to use an example lakini mwenyewe wako hapa. Ati mtu aliambiwa waombe akakumbuka maneno ya kuomba akaomba 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 lakini akasahau. Unasema ndio watu waseme amen. So akarudi tena akaenda sa ushaenda round about ukaenda round about uju exit. Listen. Parents, our Sunday school teachers are doing a great work. Today you've known the value of your children. Please bring them to Sunday school. Please force them to Sunday school. Please encourage them to Sunday school. Sharpen these arrows for your future safety. Amen. If you are a parent, if you are a sibling, if you are dreaming to be a parent, if you have a future to raise children, if you are raising children, if you are a grandmother like Nyawera, Lift your hands. All those persons that I've mentioned. Lift your hands. Lord, I speak a blessing to all our parents. We celebrate our children today. What a joy. What a blessing. We have understood the issue of parenting. The value of our children. The mystery of our children. We've known the place of shaping our children. We've known the environment. We've known about names. We've known about uh, rites of passage. We've known about um, the stages that our children go through that influences their lives. First, we repent for places where we've not been responsible. That the percentage of our children's upbringing is not our input. That the highest percentage of our children's behavior is not our input. We only react. But we don't deposit nothing. Number two, we take on the instructions this morning and choose that we will be parents and not only provide us, we will influence their destiny. And number three, we take the responsibility that you have entrusted us with children. That we will raise them in the ways of the Lord. You have entrusted us with destinies. You have entrusted us with future leaders, future husbands, future wives. You have entrusted us with people who will represent 
the purposes of God in the coming generation. Help us to understand our responsibility. So we celebrate grace and we pray that that word will find room in our hearts. Help us to be genuine, good, fruitful parents. In Jesus name. And all the parents say, Amen. And Amen. How many of you sincerely are surprised by what you learned today? Let me see. Beautiful. Me too. I got surprised on something. And um, I understand what that means. Those of you who have not yet had children, you have an opportunity. There is, when a word comes, it comes with a redemptive package. Those of you who have missed the point, there is room to turn around. God bless you. Good to see you guys. You look good. So what do you want me to do now, Nyawera? Offerings. We want to honor the Lord. Thank you, Pastor Tim. We want to honor the Lord with our giving today. I say we want to honor the Lord with our giving today. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Look, look at this protocol man of mine. He's doing a good job, isn't it? Yes. No smile now. It is duty time. God bless you. Amen. Let's package. Let's sit, take our seats. These wonderful people will give us a number, isn't it? Good. While they do that, we want to honor the Lord with our giving. Let's package our offerings in Jesus' name. Wow. Those of you watching us live, those of you in this environment, look, look at our camera. Look at who is on our camera. Look at our camera. Look at who is on our camera. Look at who is on our camera. Hey. Those who are watching us live, you are receiving us live courtesy of our Sunday school church. And the man on the camera, whether it's a man or a woman, is a girl. I suppose she's how many, how many years? How old is she? She should be 12 years old. So those who are watching live, you are receiving courtesy of a 12-year-old girl. And so we pray that you receive grace together in Jesus' name. Ashes, please minister to us. Parents, when your children close school, give them an offering to come and give thanksgiving. Beside their offerings, tell them that is parenting. Let them know it is God who's watched over them. And please, the children are giving envelope. Please receive them, even if you don't have a tithe, for the sake of the children. Just receive it and then you can give it away later. Amen. Come on, honor them. Some, some of the ushers, please come this way. Some of the ushers come in front. Come in front, ushers. Yes. This side, come to the front, daddy. Come to the front. Amen. Come to this front, Baba. Come this way. Some people need some envelopes here. Good. No, no, not to the front as in, I wanted them to give to. Simon Rose needs an envelope. You know? Yes. Beautiful. So let's get our offerings ready. Our tithe ready. Amen. Um, our pay bill is 163779. And then account number is whether you are giving an offering or your tithe or your prophetic gift or your thanksgiving or towards development. And then the amount is what the Lord has put in your heart. And then you do your pin number and then you okay. And then it gives you now International Family Church account offerings, you know, and the rest is um, amen. Those of us who are giving our tithe, please, let's step forward. Amen. Let's have the children come. Thank you, pastors. Let's have the children come. Thank you. Thank you, pastors. Let's have the children come stand here. Yes, I want another one here. Another, another one here. Thank you, boy. Right, step back a little bit. Yes, thank you. Step back a little bit, brother. So you will help those who are coming this way, and you'll help those who are coming, okay? And if you see they are not walking in order, you straighten them, okay? And if you see one that is not orderly, you pull them aside, okay? Good. Those of you are giving our tithe. <laughs> Let's step forward. Amen. I think we need more of this on a Sunday service. Yes, I think we need a children's service. Those of you giving your tithe, please step forward. Whether you have it with you or post it on the pay bill, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Those of us who are giving our tithe, step forward quickly. Let's do it quickly. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Was it a good service? Was it a learning service? Amen. Amen. They say the name you, you use on your children while disciplining them are instilled through the game. So if you say, Pundawewe, that game instills the attributes, attributes or the behavior of a donkey. So make sure you beat out the wrong thing, but you call them blessed. And you know we are Adamic. Is it possible kuchapa mutoka kumambuya? Wewe ni mbarikiwa, wewe ni kichwa, wewe mefaulu. Is it possible? I think we can learn that. That's a good one. Yeah, because we si chapa na kuita tena china mbaya. So mambia, I bless you. You are fruitful. Amen. <laughs> Let's lift our offerings, our tithe, everybody. Say, Lord. I want to hear you saying, Lord, yes. with my giving today, Sunday school, say with my giving today, today. I, acknowledge I acknowledge you as the source of my blessings. Of my blessings. And, I and I thank you that my offerings are acceptable before you as a sweet aroma in Jesus' name. And those of you who are bringing your tithe, may the Lord honor your heart's desire in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's drop it on the altar and then the rest will follow. And uh, the wonderful people are giving us a number and then I'm coming back to bless you. Don't step out before we bless you. Amen.
Yes, uh, let's clap for them as they go to their seats and welcome the drama team. You can do better than what you're doing if you're celebrating them. If you're celebrating them, you can do better than that. You can do better than that. Let us have a moment in the, oh, in the yes, presence Lord. of the Lord. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, amen. The word of the Lord says in the book of John chapter 14 verse 1 and 2. Yes, that uh, be, do not be troubled for anything. Yes. Believe in the Lord your God. Yes. Believe also in me. Yes. In my father's house. Yes. Jesus says. Yes. There are many mansions. Amen, so I'm going to prepare a room for you. Yes. So that where I am you yes. can be. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us pray. Amen. Father, bless us today. Bless your word. Bless our giving. Yes. And Lord, as we start a new week, begin with us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Shalom. God bless you and let us meet next Sunday. Yes, Daddy. Yes, yes. Amen. Yes, Amen. Shalom. Shalom. This is a story of a family who act in hypocrisy. When they are in church, they are good people, but at home, they are wild beasts. And the child is affected so much due to this hypocrisy attitude of the parents. Enjoy. Nakunyaga. Nakunyaga mukubwa. Ah, 
hii kanisa leo ilikuwa mrefu pasta ah, excuse me excuse me young lady hizi nguo niliacha hapa hivi zikuliwe ni mzee yako osha oh god who are you raising your voice to do you know i pay you in this house unanilipa 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 so what do i do mwisho nilipa ilikuwa lini oh my god who, you, who do you think you're talking to wewe my girl you know i pay you sindo oh una pole 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 sorry <laughs> Now the child is very affected due to this. No, pasta na kuja, pasta na kuja. Toka, 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 toka. toka. Kwa ipasta, pasta, ule, ule mubiri. Karibu, karibu. Nime kungoja. Yes. Ah. Wee, kuna, kuna uji pali. Wee, 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 wee. Kijana yangu, kijana yangu. Chiri. Kijana yangu kuja uniambie kuja uniambie shida ni nini? Kalikuwa kagonjwa. Kwa nini anakuchapa? Watu wanalichapa tusijafanya kitu. Na amefanya nini nyingine? Wamenichiri sapa. Chiri kuja mtoto. Mtoto mtoto. Wewe. Najua huyu mama vitu anampanyanga. Si mzuri. Si mzuri kabisa. Huyu ni mtoto mdogo. Huyu ni mtoto mdogo. Munafakuwa wazazi wake. Kwa nini mnamfanyia hivi mtoto mdogo? Nyamaza baba, nyamaza baba. Nyamaza baba. Eh, wananichapanga, wananyima chakula, wananiweka mateke, wananikata za msiende shule. Wanaleo wanapigana. Siku moja Mungu alifanya kachomeke. Kikawaanga. Siko ubaya. Siko ubaya ni shetani, ni shetani. Ni shetani. Siko ubaya. I'm so sorry my kid. Nimeamua, ni Mungu nafuata sasa. I know that I have abandoned you for many days, you know that, right? I'm sorry. Nilikutandika. Niko na deni yako ngapi? Ndawalipa poleni, poleni na Mungu wabariki. Yeah, the Bible says for everyone who is in Christ in Christ Jesus he has become a new creation the old is gone and behold new things have come. Amen. Praise Lord. 
Praise the Lord again. Uh, today we are going to do something different. Yeah, I hope you will enjoy. Yeah. Hakuna kama wewe baba we Hakuna kama wewe Sumeski akisema kuna kama wewe Isu anaponya divi wete Yenjo godu kiwa kwake maisha sete Yeni king jo alikalia kwa kete Alini save, alini toa kwa jaba Kwa shada manzi minjo nilikuwa nazichana Kukata maji, maji kukata waba Wasichana kila mahali wakini changanya Hakuna kama wewe, baba we Hakuna kama wewe baba we Hakuna kama wewe baba Hakuna kama we Juju yako nilitoka gizani Usherati nilikuwa nimeza mandani magizani Singe wacha watu kwa amani Lakini nikabahatiki ya nuru ya yesu Nuru ya wokovu kuchore ya uovu Na kidete kajogomi na zima makandovu Halini bless nilikuwa mzezi Sai niko set nimepata paku rest Eee yaa Na 
namuita Yesu mwokozi wangu tangu niokoke amenibadilisha amenifanya upya yakale yamekwisha mambo mapya akanipa ndani yake Yesu mimi najida maana jinsi hii aliupenda ulimwengu akamtoa pekee kila muaminie awe na uzima we hakuna kama wewe baba we hakuna kama wewe baba we hakuna kama wewe of the week. We will be climaxing our crusade today as from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. at East Lay. Let us all participate in soul winning. All mothers are requested to meet their leader after the services at the parking lot. On 20th August, that is next Sunday, is our African Sunday. Let us all participate. The Youth Conference is from 21st to 26th August, and our guest speakers are Pastor Mike Bitok, Pastor Andrew Mwangi, and Pastor Pancre Pancres, Pancras Ngira. Let, let's all prepare for it. Praise God. All youths are requested to meet their leader after the services at the inn parking lot. On 9th September, the now family will be honoring Bishop Likavo. Kindly prepare. Join us for our midweek programs at the City Altar at Imani House, next to Telcom House. These are our services. Beginning with God, from 6 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. on Monday to Friday. At 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. on Monday. Lunch hours, 5 p.m to 2 p.m. on Monday to Friday. Breaking camp, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. on Wednesday. Night prayers, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Monday to Friday. Home churches, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. on Friday. The church YouTube page is the Now International Family. Finally, like, subscribe, share, and watch. Pass by the sales desk and acquire yourself books and snacks and order messages in a flash disk. 
Thank you and God bless you. Praise God. Sunday school Sunday. Yes. Wazazi hebu tupige kelele tufurahie watoto wetu. Aya Sunday school we can make a joyful noise. Daddy we are grateful. We thank you so much. Wakati tunashukuru Mungu atukaribishe ili ututume na utuombe utupe na baraka. So Sunday school I want us to do something tunataka tukaribishe wa pastor. Tunajua pastor wetu? Anaitwa nani? Very good. Can we stand up? Tusimame. Alafu tunataka tupige makofi tushangilie tushukuru au pastor anapokuja kutuombea. Si ni sawa? Are we ready? Are we ready? I can we make a joyful noise to the Lord as we invite our dad. I will tell you something from my study. I will tell you something from a study, a research that has been made. You can tell a leader from the beginning. This should be my concern as a parent. While other people's children are growing, especially remember the seven heritage that every parent should pass on to their children and one of them is spiritual please make sure your quiver is filled with arrows that will fight your enemy love your children be proud of your children encourage your children but more so let them know that you value your spiritual life right from home to the church and like it's been said faith is inherited if you read on Timothy the faith in Timothy was in the mother was in the grandmother everything you do in the house of God is a heritage for your children Thank you so much Sunday school we love you. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you for the good leadership. Thank you teenagers. Uh um there th 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 is a group that is coming up in the teenage and I'm so proud of you. Um why is this man who, who is between teenagers and praised him? Boy I am happy for you. I'm happy for you. This was our first Sunday school baby. When we began our Sunday school, this was our first Sunday school boy in lower primary. And today he's become an influence. And um, leadership be seen from a distance. Please, it should concern you if your children are not active in what you believe in. I'm so happy for you. Boy, I'm happy that you have grown. And there is a group of young people who are coming up. You're doing a good job. Somebody sent me a message of the road shows and something good is happening. Are we happy for our children? Amen. Amen. I pray that your children will bring you joy and not sorrow. That your children will bring God on board. That your children will never give you sleepless nights. That your children will never be the source of your pain. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much guys. Amen. Alright we have an announcement. Um, I think the girl forgot to, to, to read. Where, where is our announcement girl? Please come baby. There's one announcement you didn't make. Please come and make. 
We have a wedding next Saturday. So would you please invite us for the wedding? Put it close to your mouth. I'm happy to announce that we'll have a wedding next Sunday. Saturday. Next Saturday. Geoffrey Mamuli wa Wire Purity Ka and Purity Karami Benson together with the blessings of our parents Mr and Mrs Emmanuel Wawire of Bungoma County Kandini constituency constituency Mikupo village and the family of Mr and Miss and Mrs Benson Gichovi Njue of Embu County, Manyata Sub-County, Kiriru Village. Kadiali. Kadiali invites now family, church. now family Church to witness as we exchange our marriage vows on 19th August 2023 at the Now International Church. Pioneer Eldoret as from 10 a.m. Thereafter, to a reception at Bishop Delany Secondary School at 10 p.m. You are warmly, warmly welcome. Wow. Angabo anatamani kama wiyo angakuwa mtote yako. There is hope. Amen. Joffrey, kuja utukaribisha arusi baba. Kuna arusi chumamosi, arusi chumamosi. Amen. Alright. Technical man is there. Uyu wa technical ni waibu, hameshika roya baba yaki. Yes, sir. Bwana sifiwe. Bwana sifiwe tena. Na hitu wa Geoffrey, wa wawire. Na nimeokoka Yesu ni Bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yangu. Ya mwaka wa elfu mbili na ishirini na mbili. Nili join in our family church. Na mwezi wa tisa, tarei ishirini. Na nimeona mkono wa mungu, nikiwa katika nao family church. Imekua kama nyumbani, nimebarikiwa chini ya baba na mama. Na nimeona mkono wa Bwana Nataka tuni wakaribishe kwa shere ambayo ni harusi yetu ambayo itakuwa jumamosi ambayo ambayo ni kusoma pale tarehe 19 ambayo itafanyika mahali hapa na nyinyi kama familia yangu wa kwanza na wakaribisha sana mmekuwa wa, wa, wa karibu sana mmekuwa wa msaada sana katika safari yangu those who have gone to mount kenya or those who have gone to central part of kenya haijakuwa rahisi Nimemuona mkono wa Bwana akupanda mlima haijakuwa rahisi. Asanteni sana, karibuni sana katika harusi yangu na everything is okay. I have faith in the Lord. Amen. So harusi ni this Saturday. So kila mtu amekaribishwa harusi this Saturday mahali hapa. Na, nataka kushauri vijana. You cannot wait for your wedding. Participate in wedding. Vijana, wezi kuwa unangojia harusi yako. Chiusishe kwa harusi. Hii vitu wa mbukisanwa. Usiulize harusi ilikuwaja na unampango ya kuona kuelewa. Kuja panda mbegu ya harusi. Amen. Congratulations. Amen. Wageni wetu wote tunawashukuru kwa kuja siku ya leo. We really honor and appreciate all our visitors who would have wish to acknowledge you. But we do all our visitors. If you are a visitor, can we celebrate you? In Wamukono Jumugeni Wetu, can we celebrate you? Thank you so much, our visitors. Okay. Uh, so our visitors, we celebrate you. And I'm reminded that we need to read the wedding ban for the last time. So we have the pleasure for the last time to read the wedding ban of Chofri, Mamuli Wawire, and Purity Karimi Benson. 
on their wedding, which will be on 19th of August, next Saturday, at this venue. Please, if you have a reason as to why they should not get married, throw it away and come for the wedding on Saturday. Amen. But if you think it's a serious reason why Geoffrey should not get married, please see me. Amen. You have two options. You can see me this week or see me on Saturday at 3. Either way will work. Love you. We want to advise us to join us in our prayers. And during this week, I want to emphasize wasasi water. Teach your children wakitoka shule. Give them an offering. Go and give thanks to God. Before they go to school, give them an offering. Go, let God bless you. Ask God for blessings. If your children are mature enough and you can bring them for one or two of our midweek services, either prayers on Monday, Wednesday breaking come, or lunch hour, that is parenting. That is quite important for you. Amen. What do we tell our Sunday school? Hey, what do we tell our Sunday school? What do we tell our Sunday school teachers? Thank you so much. What do we tell our preacher today? God bless you. Now, Kama Musasi, you now realize what our Sunday school teachers are doing without a pay. They are building values. Unalipa mwalimu wa shule mwanya anachenga kichwa. Mwalimu wa Sunday school anachenga moyo. Please, let's learn to appreciate our Sunday school teachers. Amen. I want to make this directive. We are beginning to receive our contribution towards 9th of September. If you have purpose